I'm sure everyone's heard about the new addition to Fortnite Battle Royale, and that's the Supply Llama. Now I've seen a few videos floating around YouTube about these, but no one truly goes in depth about it. So I wanted to take the time and cover what exactly you can expect to get out of these things, as well as answer some of the more common questions people have about them. So first of all, this is what they actually look like. They're brightly colored in a light purple and blue color scheme, which makes them stand out somewhat. The problem is, they're not very big, and people can easily overlook these things. Now these supply llamas are extremely rare. In fact, there's only three that spawn the entire match. So out of 100 people, only three are going to experience opening these things every match. Unless you're incredibly lucky and you find more than one yourself. Now the locations of these supply llamas are chosen at random. And when they say at random, they truly mean it. I've seen these guys spawn underwater with only their heads sticking out. I've also seen them in tree branches in Wailing Woods, where you could only see it if you looked up. And then I've also seen them stuck on a slope of a mountain when you slide down. Most of the time, though, they'll be in plain sight. They tend to spawn in the middle of nowhere more often than not. But you can also find them smack dab in the center of very populated areas, such as in Tilted Towers. So when they say random, they definitely mean it. Now if and when you do find one of these sacred llamas, you can only open them like a treasure chest by holding the search button. So these are also found in the save the world mode in Fortnite, but in that mode you actually smack them like a pinata to open it. But I tried shooting these as well as using the pickaxe, and neither of those options worked. The only way to open them is like a chest or a supply drop. Now the open time for one of these is a whopping 5.117 seconds. And that's from the moment the search bar begins to move until the supply llama drops his load on you. Upon departing, he'll explode into a fiery blast of confetti, streamers, and stars. And trust me, there's nothing more satisfying than when a supply llama craps a rainbow on your brain. So the next question is, what can you expect to get out of one of these llamas? As it turns out, each of these supply llamas will give you a whopping 1500 materials. You'll get 500 wood, 500 stone, and 500 metal. In addition, you'll get 10 stacks of each type of ammo, 2 traps, and 2 consumables. Now of note here, the official patch notes appear to be wrong in this regard. They say that you'll get, quote, 3 traps and consumables. But not once did I ever open one of these and receive 3 traps. You always receive 2 traps and 2 consumable items. So I went through 9 supply llama openings and documented my findings for you guys to see. So let's take a look at the results. Now as you can see, for each of the 9 drops, I received an astounding 20 rockets, 120 small bullets, 100 medium bullets, 60 heavy bullets, and 50 shells. You may have noticed that in the first supply llama, I received 140 medium bullets. And that's because I was playing duos. The rest of these were in solos. So in duos, your medium bullets drop in stacks of 14 instead of 10 like in solos. Likewise, I believe in squads they drop in 18 if I remember correctly. Now if we look at the traps, I either received two spike traps or one spike and one cozy campfire. I've never personally got a launch pad, but that's not to say it isn't possible. You're just more likely to receive two spike traps than anything else. Now as for the consumable items, I had a bit of variety here. You can get any consumable item in the game, including a chug jug. Unfortunately though, I never got that lucky. One of the more common drops were one slurp juice and three minis. Or three minis and three grenades. One time I even got six grenades, so that means you could potentially get six minis as well. Of course, the bush also counts. As you can see, one time I got that along with five bandages. Which is probably the worst consumable drop you could get. And lastly, you'll of course always get the 1500 materials, which is 500 of each. Now I went to Reddit to look for some of the more commonly asked questions about these that I could answer. The first one was, can they spawn in the water? And the answer to this is yes. As I mentioned before, countless people have seen just the heads sticking out of the water, which makes them almost camouflaged. I honestly believe they can spawn anywhere since they've also been found up in trees and on the sides of mountains where they shouldn't really be. And just to reiterate here, they can also spawn in named locations. So they're not always in the middle of nowhere. The next question was, do they have HP? And the answer to this is no. Again, I tried every means possible to destroy one of these and they appear to be immune. One other question I saw get asked is if they count as opening an actual supply drop. Now the answer to this one is yes. So if you haven't done your supply drop challenge from week 4 of the battle pass yet, opening a supply llama will count for it. Now the last question I saw was if these are permanent or just a seasonal item. So these are 100% a permanent addition to the game. They won't be disappearing like the Christmas trees or the shrines. So overall, I think these new supply llamas are incredible. 
Not only this, they're balanced appropriately as well. You'd think that someone getting 1500 material and 20 rockets would be quite overpowered. But since there's only three of these every time you play, it's completely fair. I can't tell you how many times I've had a fight where I come out of it materialless, with no health and no healing items. Finding one of these llama drops at the start of the game or mid to late game can be a game changer. If I had to make any improvements though, there's two things that come to mind. First, since they're meant to be pinata-like, I think they should be destroyable with the pickaxe as well. I think they'd have to take a pounding, but it'd be kind of fun to do this. And of course, you'd still be able to open it via the search method if you wanted. Now second, I'd like there to be a notification if someone opens one. So that way, if you see that three people found them already, you wouldn't have to continue looking for them and waste your time. Maybe put this in the kill feed area or a quick message across the top of your screen. So let me know in the comments if you found any strangely placed supply llamas, or I guess if you've even found one at all. I know I played almost 50 games before I found my first one, but if they spawn in a named location, chances are they'll be gobbled up right away. So it's the ones that spawn in the middle of nowhere that you'll have to keep an eye out for. Another great aspect about these is the fact that you don't actually have to open one to benefit from it. For example, if someone loots a supply llama, they'll have a boatload of rockets and materials. And if you kill that guy, then it's almost as if you opened it yourself. So watch here after I've killed this guy and take his RPG. I then go over his rocket supply and I jump from 22 rockets to 63. And that's in addition to maxed out materials. So that right there tells me that this guy either opened one himself or he killed someone that did. So even with only three of these on the map each game, everyone has the potential to benefit. Now I'll end this video with a clip from a game where I found a supply llama upon dropping. I landed at Anarchy Acres and got nothing in the first shack I went to. However, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted that beautiful purple llama just staring at me across the field. After opening it and looting a bit, I had absolutely crap guns. Two pistols, a crappy revolver, and the consumables from the supply llama. So I went back side of the house in Anarchy Acres to look for the secret chest. But as luck would have it, none spawned. And then, out of nowhere, I hear the sound of someone launch padding directly near me. If I hadn't have got the Supply Llama's 1500 materials here, I for sure would have died to this RPG-wielding scallywag. So these Supply Llamas are truly the gift that keeps on giving.